guys welcome to another day another video and i have a couple of questions from compound interest to discuss with you the compound interest on a certain sum of money invested for 3 years at 5% per annum is 1891.5 what will be the simple interest on the sum at the same rate for 2 years okay so first of all we should be figuring out what is that sum of amount and then since we know um, the compound interest from there, we will find out the principal and uh, we will then find out that on that principle, what would be the simple interest for two years at the same rate that is 5%. Okay, so what we know is 1891, right? 1891.5, that's our compound interest and by the formula of compound interest it is basically principal multiplied by 1 plus the rate the rate is 5 so 5 upon 100 to the power years so 3 years okay minus 1 so this is what is the formula for compound interest you need to recall this formula 1 plus r upon 100 to the power t minus 1. Okay. Now, this means that 1891.5 is equal to p multiplied by 1 upon 20. So, 21 upon 20 q minus 1 which is equal to P multiplied by, you need to open this up and you will get 1261 upon 8,000. Okay, so 1261 upon 8,000 is what you get after taking the cube. And this means the principal amount is 1891.5 multiplied by 8000 holding upon 1261 and with the help of a calculator or some uh, simplifications you will get to know that this turns out to be 12000. So this compound interest for 5% on, uh, on 5 for 3 years is actually on the principal 12,000. And if I take, the question is not asking principal, it's asking simple interest. Now, simple interest for two years at 5% on this amount will be equal to P into R into T upon 100. So we have the principal now, so it's 12,000 rate. We are keeping the same. So five multiplied by two years as it is given, two years holding upon 100. So that will give us 1200 because five into two is just 10. So uh, just cancel out the zeros, you'll get 1200. 1200 is the correct answer guys, B. B is the correct option. We do have an option for it. Let's take up another question for our revision. A man purchased a sewing machine for 5,000. If due to sustained use, value of the sewing machine depreciates at 6% annually, find its value after three years. So it is continually depreciating. So when it is depreciating, logically, this is the first year. So इस साल डेप्रिशिएट हुआ तो अगले साल की शुरुआत से अगर मैं लगा रही हूँ इंटरेस्ट इंटरेस्ट इन द सेंस डेप्रिशिएशन तो वो डेप्रिशिएटेड अमाउंट पे लगेगा ना तो क्लियरली द प्रोसेस विल गो लाइक कंपाउंड इसलिए ये ऐसा जो कंपाउंड इंटरेस्ट का क्वेश्चन है बट थिंग्स आर नॉट एडिंग अप इट्स डेप्रिश just like we appreciate यहाँ पर depreciate हो जाएगा, so subtract होगा, but तरीका कुछ वैसा ही रहेगा, लेकिन subtract हो जाएगा, so तो value of machine 
after three years. The value of machine after three years will be kitne ka purchase kiya tha? 5,000 ka. 5,000? Jab aap invest karte hai aur compound interest mil raha hai, toh add ho raha hai, right? Ab depreciate ho raha hai, toh minus ho ga. So, 5,000 into 1 minus 6 upon 100 to the power 3 because 3 years ka baat ho raha hai, right? So, ye karna ho ga hume and this will give us 5,000 multiplied by आप अगर इसको ओपन कर देते हैं 2 से आप डिवाइड करते हैं तो 3 आ गया यहां पर 50 आ गया यहां पर सो so 50 minus 3 गिव्स यू 47 47 upon 50 into 47 upon 50 3 टाइम्स बेसिकली सो पावर 3 है 47 upon 50 into 47 upon 50 कैलकुलेटर का यूज कर रहे हैं तो कैलकुलेटर यूज करके निकाला जा सकता है सिंपलीफाई uh, करके मल्टीप्लाई करना है तो वो किया जा सकता है आपको जवाब में जो मिलेगा वो होगा 4152.92 ओके सो दिस इज व्हाट यू विल गेट सो डिप्रीशिएट ओके आपको ये वैल्यू मिलेगी सो जस्ट ध्यान दीजिएगा यहां पर प्लस 1 नहीं होगा ऑफ कोर्स बिकॉज़ डिप डिप्रीशिएट हो रहा है लेकिन कांसेप्ट ऑफ डिप्रीशिएशन इज जस्ट लाइक कंपाउंड इंटरेस्ट दैट्स व्हाट आई वांटेड टू यू नो वर्क ऑन विद यू गाइस डिप्रीशिएशन की केसेस भी a uh, very arm question hai, could be asked anywhere. So, logic is the same because depreciated value go or depreciate karte jate na, to it's like compounding in that case. But appreciate ho ra, depreciate ho ra, so 1 minus. That's how you get this formula. Okay. This is the correct answer and yes we do have an option. Again B is the correct option. This is how you can deal with uh, questions from simple interest. I've already um, done a couple of examples with you guys in one of the previous videos and this was for compound interest and in the first question we did both actually compound as well as simple. I hope this helps in your revision for uh, your entrances. Thank you very much.